Hello, peoples. Um, so for those of you that are new here, I am Sistiana Starr. I do tarot readings, um, obviously. This is going to be the overview, kind of a generalized thing for the year of 2020. And I hope y'all like it. I hope that y'all decide to subscribe, join the family. I also do stream on Twitch. The name is the same there. So, um, yeah. Uh, this is for Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising, though. Just so y'all know. And let's get this going. So what does Aries need to know for January 2020? Okay. So... You're starting off with I had around mulch ah, and I'm sorry y'all because most of these cards I cannot pronounce the names and we have Garuda now add this this here is beware of judging people or judging things by appearance not everything is as it seems. And Garuda is having patience and preservance. Um, just, it's basically that uh, card of the, the temperance. You know, needing patience, doing things in moderation, um, take things slow really slow down and um, yeah so that's your thing for January Aries and February the 2020 Okay, so you got Nikar and Kayum. Now, with Nikar, this is about taking precautions, and like there could be some outside influences that are creating some difficulties for you in the month of February and the KM you know this little bird little birdie fellow he's, he's looking a bit cocky there right so this is using like taking in nature and like the bird sounds having um, relaxation as well so we got relaxation and don't judge a book by its cover, okay? Um, and also the outside influences. The but I'm really feeling that uh, you know don't judge things by their appearance and also take in some relaxation take in the take in nature um, I hope that makes sense for you Aries so let's move on to February um, March sorry for March 2020 2020 Okay, you got the brooms, you got the witch riding the broom, and Vol, I think that's how I'm pronouncing it, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. 
So with brooms, this is cleaning, purifying. It's clearing out the old so that you can bring in the new. Now, March, I see, I want to say it's March. Yeah, March brings in the start of the um, solar new year because that's the zodiacs go by the I want to say it's a solar new year y'all and I'm, I'm y'all correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong about that but I do believe that that's what that is so the cleansing the purifying the you know out with the old and in with the new out with the negative and in with the positive that makes sense for you Aries and then Vool now with this one could be finding yourself mending relationships and working on um, trying to find a common ground with your enemies um, like turning an enemy into a frenemy like that that saying of keep your friends close and your enemies closer if that makes sense and I'm probably butchering that saying all up but I hope that makes sense for you Aries and let's move on to April so for April of 2020 Alistair, and I'm probably mispronouncing all this, Renove, Renove, hmm, okay, so Alistair is time to observe, and could be some traveling as well, like charting out your your um your route kind of thing okay and Renov now he's about you could have some um very intelligent debates you, you could have a very persuasive argument as well could be um actually talking and trying to plan out a trip so yeah, not too bad for you, right, Aries? So let's see for May. For Aries, for May 2020. Okay. Nikar, which, yeah, you had this one a little while ago too. Um, taking the necessary precautions, and it's like with this one, it's like I feel like really it's like you're, um, man, I, I feel like you're watching somebody too closely, or you could be watching someone too closely in May. So, and then you have. As modus, and I'm probably I'm probably mispronouncing that too, but as modus is about really obsessing over things, and don't like I, I feel like you just need to let's see. You have you know taken the precautions so that you don't be over indulging and don't um don't take more than what you need okay hope that makes sense for you aries Oop. and for june 2020 
Okay. Now, you got Ganga Grandma. And the C word that I am not going to even try to pronounce, y'all. I'm sorry. So here, the Ganga Grandma, this is about having pride and standing tall really fighting for what you want even but it's like knowing when to get involved and knowing when to just keep your mouth shut i hope that makes sense aries and then this c word don't use secrets against people like you might find out something and like you're going to be very boastful about it and then you're going to be like okay i got to tell somebody but don't don't aries that that's your that's your key thing for here for june is the gossip is coming around and you're like i got to tell somebody but don't okay don't it's not wise not wise aries July 2020 Thalfagor and I'll probably mispronounce that one too y'all I'm telling you and damn now that one came out again so the Belfagar. So, beware of having the I, if it's too good to be true kind of a uh, mentality um don't overthink it possibly just honestly needing to go out into nature to figure out your next move really think long and hard about your like if there's things that come to your attention in july of needing to make a decision about something really think hard about it and um possibly go into nature go find your 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 sweet spot and take time before answering that question or i hope that makes sense okay so for august 2020 okay we got Buphanite and Piccolus. So, Buphanite is finding worth where others might not see it. It's finding beauty where others see ugly uh, if I don't want to offend anyone but it's like it's finding that rare gem you know the where the outside might look horrible but on the inside it's the most precious thing ever it's also that whole um, you know one man's trash is another man's treasure so it's it's like you're the yin and yang you know I, I hope that makes sense and then Piccolus here he's like beware of holding on to grudges and don't um especially like there could be something that gets brought to your attention like wow we've we've been fighting all this time what what did the fight start about 
you know so that type of thing coming in for you in August in September for 2020 for Aries hey going fishing huh you got Agarus. Oh, that's he's fighting a crocodile. And Torn Garsic. Probably really totally mispronouncing all of these. So with Agarus. Hmm. Needing direction. Needing guidance. Um. Reining in the help and pushing away the the negative, like bringing in the positive, shooing away the negative, and looking for direction, looking for your guidance, and finding those connections where you may not have seen before. Now, Torn Garsic. Now, this is about the the strength and the positive. And really really thinking about things especially if you're having some health issues really re reconsider um like for some of you there could be like honestly looking for alternative ways of medicine uh, i'm kind of feeling that here looking for alternative ways of healing even just meditation you could be looking into meditation in the month of september for you aries okay and october 2020 for october for aries Okay, so we got oh, Fur Fur and Beelzebub. Now, Fur Fur is a love, passion, and finding connections with those that, you know, it could even. Uh, for some of you, you could be dealing with somebody obsessed with you. Or you could become obsessed with somebody else. So let's see. Bells above. Yeah. Okay. So. Aries. Got an unhealthy infatuation with someone. Or your curiosity about something has gone past the line of just being curious it becomes very obsessive so October obsessive and yeah let's see for November Now you got this um, fishing bear again and Zebos. So again, um, Zebos is romance and comfort. Like he, he's trying to wrangle in this uh, gator or croc, whatever it is. I, I can't tell the difference. 
and I'm from the south I really can't tell the difference and so he's reining it in he, he's he's making that connection with another he's making that connection with that uh animal mammal whatever you want to call it amphibian I'm sorry I'm not going to get technical here and it, it's because he went and caught it you know Turkish tur, tur, uh, torn <laughs> it's you're going to turn that um that time fishing thinking really heavily thinking about things into some type of love and passion a connection with someone so there you go for uh, November Aries you're going to connect with somebody and possibly overthink something and December Dallas. and Scox again Stalas and Scox so Stalas it's finding the finding value where others don't see it it's being wise as well and Scox now this watch out for somebody that's out for their own game okay so you got somebody that's out for their own game but at the same time there's somebody there there's something about looking at things at their true worth so kind of feeling like here Aries be careful not to it's like don't kick the um the gift horse in the mouth mouth or something like that I can't I can't remember exactly how the saying goes but it's like don't and don't feed the hand that feed don't don't uh don't bite the hand that feeds you uh it's like I'm just getting the whole like some of you overthinking it some of you overreacting over something and trying to like really looking into things too deeply like the meaning behind it is not as difficult or as complicated as you might be um thinking it is okay so aries that is your kind of a short check-in for the year of 2020 i hope you've enjoyed this and i hope i'll see you back around if y'all have any comments uh please leave it any questions please leave it in the comments below and i'll be sure to get back to you but thank you for watching liking sharing and of course subscribing but bye for now